Good morning and welcome to uh, September the 13th, Midweek Manor at, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, depending on when you watch this episode. Again, these are less short snippets of things just to think about throughout your day, to listen to uh, as you're going, going around on your uh, AirPods. And I, again, I try to keep them very short and hopefully you get something out of them, even though they're less than five minutes. So we've been talking about uh, the seven habits that we can work on daily to grow spiritually uh, strong every day. And today, this morning, I want to talk about number three, which is spend time in quietness. Now I know for the extroverts that are listening to this, that is a huge challenge. As an introvert, I'm good with it. My time is quiet most of the time. But extroverts find it hard, and even in this world we live in, introverts find it hard to just find time to stop and be quiet. When was the last time during the day that you actually stopped and was quiet? I don't mean like changing the channel or sitting in the bathroom or just walking through the house, but intentional quiet. To listen to that still, small voice of God within you. We like to think that we really don't have time or we really can't find the time to be quiet, but we, we actually can. One way is to sit in the bathroom. You know, most people aren't bothered when they're in the bathroom. Just sit in the bathroom. And I'm not talking about a, a long time, just a couple of minutes, just to be quiet. Or maybe sit in the closet with the light off and just quiet solitude. You can also take a walk. Uh, for a little bit. Sometimes for me, during the day when things get really crazy, I'll just get up uh, from my desk and just walk a little bit. Walk outside, breathe in some air, and walk back in. You also, another example would be to uh, just have quiet time first thing in the morning. I think I shared that um, a couple last week when we talked about spending quiet time with God. A lot of people do that first thing in the morning to start their day. Uh, at, as I shared before, for me, I have a gratitude list I do each morning before I start my day, thanking God for at least three things from the day before that God has blessed me with. So as you go through this day and as you continue to work on uh, forming these habits in your life to grow spiritually strong, I challenge you to find time to spend in quietness. I want to close with a scripture, Psalm 139, verses 23 through 24. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me and lead me to the way of, of everlasting. We make <clears throat> a priority. Things are important. It's been a time and quiet is important to you. You will find the time to do it. I pray you have a good day evening, night, and I will see you again later this evening for our evening edition of Midweek Manor as we look at habit number four. Take care and God bless.